Hello, everyone. It's Matthew Reinhardt here, Professor Reinhardt to you. Um, this is the pop-up masterclass, and it's great to be back. I'm glad that you are all in attendance today. Let me see. Let me make sure. Yes, everyone's here. Welcome to class, everybody. Um, today, we're going to learn something that's a little weird. I'm, I, this, this semester, I want to teach you some of my little secrets. And um, Well, they're not really secrets. I mean, once they're in a book, I mean, everybody can see what it is. But I'm going to just tell you some of the logic behind some of the weird things that I do um, when I'm engineering books. And um, one of the things um, that I like to call it is, well, it's overextension, overextending mechanisms. Um, and the reason why I oftentimes do it is uh, just simply because of the nature of opening a pop-up book and how they're, how they're manufactured. You know, sometimes they're a lot tighter and, and the movement of some of the pops don't work as well. So I overextend some of the mechanisms in order to make them work better. And so the one that we're going to do today is called an overextended platform. And we've learned about platforms before, if you remember. Um, we have, some time back, we did platforms. I'm just going to show you um, a platform in a book that I like. Um, so this is a pop-up book, Tokyo Pop-Up Book. Um, and this is by um, Sam Ida, who used to work with me. He's a really talented paper engineer, does some really complex stuff. And so this last one, ooh, they're all in the sauna. Ooh, I hope they, let's see, see the people in there? Oh, that's so cute. And there's Nico the cat right there. Anyhow, um, this sauna mechanism is a platform. Now, you can't see it because uh, Sam's done a brilliant job of hiding it, and it looks like a really nice, solid sort of object. He's actually hidden it under these, like, V-folded pieces. But if we look underneath, let's see if we can see. You can see the central strut here, and then the platform going across here, and then he's got the other side right here. So that's a platform, and you can see that the distance from here to here, this, this side here to here, is the same as the distance from here to here. All right, so those, the height there is the same, and it's the same right there. So it makes a platform, and he's got, he's got V-folds here and here to keep it from you know, going side to side. So, um, so that's a regular platform, and it's really well done and really cool in this book. Um, I worked with Sam for um, quite a while, and um, he's a lot of fun. He's really funny, he has great stories. And that's why I think it's great that he did this book. So anyways, that's a regular platform, okay? And then we're going to get into the weird Matthew Reinhardt stuff, doing a platform. So here is an example. I'm going to show you. Ooh, Castles of Equestria. Yes, it's true. I'm a brony. You got a problem with it? All right. So um, I love doing this book because I love the uh, Friendship is Magic uh, cartoon. Um, so this pop-up here has an overextended platform. Let's see if you can see it. All right, this is um, the Crystal Empire Castle here. All right, so you can see it yeah, opens, and you're like, well, where is that? Where is that overextended platform? Well, I will show you. See in the back here, you'll be able to see there is the overextended platform right here. Let me see if I can show you right. This here, there's the central strut. There's both sides. But you're going to see something that's different here. You're going to see that the center strut is taller than the side measurements here and here. It's hard to see, but you can see it here and here. Those are shorter than the center strut. And that pushes up our platform. Instead of the platform when it opens, let me see if I can do this right. Get out of there. So that's that book. That shows you um, what a, uh, an overextended platform. So usually um, the, the platform kind of looks like this when it's open. It's, this is a 90 degree angle. This is a 90 degree angle. And then there's a center strut that's right here. But the overextended platforms, when it's open completely, kind of look like that. All right? So they're, they're slightly tented. All right? And there's a reason why I do that. Um, uh, mainly because oftentimes when we're making a platform, we're building something on top of that platform to do other stuff. Just like you saw in um, Sam's book. You know, he has other stuff like this V-fold here and other stuff happening on top of it. Not as much as what we may want to do. Like with the, with, with, the, with the Crystal Empire castle, there is a whole mechanism. This is all happening, all this stuff, all this higher part of the tower. See, watch. The tower is moving because of the platform. And if it went flat, if it only went flat, that platform would only get this tall, or that, that stuff on top would only get this tall. But because it's overextended, it pushes up the rest of that mechanism on top of it. So the reason why I oftentimes... Um, we'll use an overextended platform is because there's stuff happening on top of the platform and I want to see it like really happen. And I want you or you, you, 
You, you. Um, <laughs> I want you to, uh, to see that movement happen without having to open the page like super hard beyond uh, overextended. So I'm extend, I'm overextending things so that the mechanism will work really well. And here's another example. I hope I have enough room in this shot. Um, for my Transformer book, um, it is Omega Supreme, and he's like this super tall, gigantic robot. You, everybody knows I like Transformers a lot. So um, this Transformer, he's like one of the biggest, um, and he is the Autobot's defense base, and here he is. And you look at this, and you're like, I don't see where the platform is. Well, see what I do is I like to hide things. If you look in the back, you can start to see where the platform is, okay? So I'm going to open him up again and show you. Let's see. Do you see the platform? Ah, I see the platform. There it is. Right here. There's the center strut. There's one side and there's the other side. And as it pulls, there's a V-fold right here that starts to move on top. See how it moves? And it's a little bit overextended, you can see. Um, you, these sides here, this side and this side, are shorter than the center strut. And that makes all this other stuff, because look at, there's all this stuff that's built on top of that, that um, platform. So when it's overextended, you can get that movement to happen sooner, and um, you can have a lot more strength. Because the farther you wait, okay, get ready, I'm going to blow your mind in just a bit. So see that? that? All that stuff, all this stuff here, is happening because of this this overextended platform, all right? Along with some other things too, but that's, that's the main driver. If you look, like until this, until this platform is activated, nothing, not that much really happens. Once we go and then kablam, then he's up on, and he's standing up straight. And he gets pushed down as well. All right, so it's all because of that overextended platform. And the reason we use, well, I like to use overextended platforms is because it makes, um, it makes what's happening on top of the platform happen happen in stronger and quicker. And um, you see, the farther you get away from the base page, let's, let's look at this. Let's go back to this book. So you see, oh, there's so many good pops in here. What can I, mm, I'm just so good, right? Um, no, it, so let's see here. So when there's a lot of things happening up on top of the platform, um, uh, it's, it's happening further from the page, right? So, so the further we go, the further higher we up, there's gonna be less and less power happening on this part of the platform. This, and this is essentially, this, this top of the platform here is essentially, even though it's really small and cut away, there is, um, this is essentially mimicking what the base page does. Um, and it's opening, even though it's now, this is overextended. But it's mimicking what the base page is doing. So this is almost like a mini base page on top of this platform. That's like another base page. But um, sometimes when you're, there, there's less and less power the further you get away from the base page and from this center fold. So this won't necessarily activate as, as quickly as the actual base page, base page does. So oh, it does sound very complicated, isn't it? So I, maybe I should just show you. Well, there's less and less power. Let's, let's, just, let's just make something. Let's get started making our overextended platform. Let's see here. Well, I'll just take a nice piece of cardstock. I'm going to use orange. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, a lot of times I tell um, m m my students and I tell you know people who work for me, um, I like to to kind of push it. I'm always pushing it. You know, ah, push it, push it real good. Yeah, that's what I do. Um, so, um, sorry, salt and pepper. Sorry. Um, so I like to, I like to make my pop-ups, I kind of like to push my pop-ups a little bit further, a little bit beyond what they're supposed to, you know, instead of, instead of them opening like this much, I want them to go all the way, you know, like I want them to really, uh, be big and exciting and move well. And the reason why I do that a lot of times is because I know that in manufacturing, when they're making the pop-up books, like I may make a pop-up myself, the one single one that they use to copy over and over again, um, that first prototype might work perfectly because I built it. But when it goes into manufacturing, many other hands are involved. Um, I don't build them all myself. Somebody else is helping me. Lots, a team of people are helping me. They're very talented people. And um, they may not get everything exactly the way I need it to be. So I often design things um, overextended um, and pushed to the limit 
so that the, the pop-up that you get in the stores, you, you, I'm having trouble with the pointing you, get in the stores works well and the pop-up is, is really as big as it can be, you know, because that's exciting, that's fun. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. So this is my base page. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm just making a mark where the center of the fold is. So you can see it, because sometimes those lights, you can't see where that fold is. Anyways, so this is our, you know, as always, this, the, the page that we're going to build off of, that is our main engine. This is going to make all of the magic happen. Ooh. All right. Now, let's get to making, well, first, I think what I'll do, I think first we'll just make a regular platform, and then we'll overextend it and make something from there. All right. So first... In order to make a platform, we need to make, let's, let's do three rectangles that are the same size. So let's start out with that. I'm just going to, I have a lot of ways to, let's see, how can I do this? There we go. Because I'm lazy. Oh, I did, did I do that right? Wow. That's impressive. So I kind of, I folded into thirds just like that. And amazingly, that's pretty close. So fold your cardstock. This is cardstock. This is 110 pounds of cardstock, by the way. 110 pounds of cardstock. You know, you, we need paper that's a little bit thicker um, so that you can, so that there will be strength. All right? So I, I, I folded it into thirds. I'm going to take a pair of scissors. And let's, let's use ruler, too, just, just for the heck of it. And let's see. How big, how tall do we want to make our thing? Let's do it. Here we go. We'll mark it. Uh, four inches. You don't have to do it four inches. This is just, I'm just using that, that um, measurement to make sure that we get this measurement, this, this going across right. All right. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. Let's see. Whose are they? Whose are they? Can you see it? Whose are they? Mine. 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 So um, I'm going to cut this going across. Like this. This is our scrap. Okay, so we have three. And let's just carefully cut them along the folds. I just want three, um, I just want three identical, for to start off, I want three identical um, pieces for our platform. And I also want, I think I'm going to take one of these platforms and I'm going to fold it in half, going a long way, like so. And I'm going to use some double stick tape. Come over here. You, I love you. I love this tape. So I, I use um, two different kinds of tape when I'm building things. I also use glue and stuff like that. But when we're building in here and we're just, you know, I'm showing you some basic mechanisms. Um, typically, I just use two types of tape. I use like a masking tape. This is just, it's white color, but it's just very similar to masking tape. Um, it's also called artist tape. If you want to use regular masking tape, it's much cheaper, let me tell you. And, um, you know, it works, it works just the same. And then I also use double stick tape. This is all this is. It's double stick tape, um, so it has sticky on both sides. So I'm going to use some double stick, and it's quicker than glue, at least for what we're doing right here when we're making a prototype, when we're just, you know, like messing around, learning about paper engineering, blah, blah, blah. Paper engineering is such a technical sounding thing. I just make pop-ups. I mean, come on. That's why I don't always love being called a paper engineer, because I, I feel like what we do is a lot more than that. We're magic makers, right? Ooh. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so we've got... We've got these two. Um, this is going to be the central strut. And the, re the reason why I folded it over and taped it down, I want to make this one just a little bit stronger. Okay? And um, let's see here. We're going to use some of this just regular um, artist tape, masking tape. I'm going to tape it down to the center of the page. And then I'm going to make two um, mark. I'm going to make, um, well, you know what? Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just gonna, let's see, line it up with this edge. Mm, no, I'm gonna make a line. So, um, so let's get another, let's get our ruler. Come here, ruler. And let's mark about, mm, let's do two and a half inches. Now, you don't have to do two and a half inches, but we're gonna do two and a half here and 
two and a half up here. And we're gonna mark it just there. Oh, can you see that line? Can you, I'm gonna do that darker. Can't see that. Those lights are blinding, right? There's one line. And I'm gonna do the same. Here's how I cheat. I close it. Here's some of my cheating secrets. Um, and you, you can just usually, if it's folded, you can just kind of rub your finger along where that line was, like on the outside of the card. Look at how it's shaking the whole um, thing. And then if you look really carefully, let's see if I can see it. Can you see the line? Can you see it? See, uh, uh, see, see a little bit of the lead from this side is right, right there. Isn't that cool? So now I don't have to get the ruler out again to measure it. I basically got, because I, it, it transferred to the opposite side. Let's see, I got that. Yep. That's called a, a Matthew lazy tip. Instead of like going through and having to measure and measure and do the thing, that's a Matthew lazy tr trick. Yes, I have lots of, I'm very lazy. Don't always like to do the things I'm supposed to. Um, now, we're going to tape down our other two rectangles and make sure that it, they're the same height as the center, um, uh, the center uh, strut. All right, and by meaning height, I mean we're looking at it this way and it's the same height, that's the same height. We're just gonna tape it down like this. We're gonna tape it on this edge, on that line that we just made. Let's just see if you can see it. See on the line? There, so I'm gonna tape it down. Now we're just making a regular platform right now. In a minute, we're gonna make an extended one. So let's do this one, there's one side. So I should hurry up, right? I, this is what happens all the time when I'm doing these videos. Like I start, I get off on a tangent and I keep going and talking about all this other stuff and then I forget that we're, we're only learning about one thing. Oh, well, sorry. Sorry, I like to talk. All right, so then what do we do to, to, to link these? We make sure we make a piece of uh, cardstock. We need a piece of cardstock to go all the way across. Let's use this scrap. And let's see, I'm gonna, it has to be this wide with a fold in the center. So I'm just gonna take this, mark it here, here, maybe about here. All right, and then I'm gonna use my, if you're really worried about, um, you know, you, you should use, if you're worried about getting that, that um, cut straight, just use a pencil and go along that, those two lines, those measurements. I'm just gonna cut it. And let's make sure. With our platform, our normal platform, I'm just shaking everything with this whole today. Okay. Ah, pencil, no, no, I miss you. So, so see how this is lined up right here and it's the same width. What we'll do is we'll take this here and it's the sticky side up. And when you do stuff like this, see what I did, look what I did that's really weird. Like, so these edges here are all free and then this is taped in the center, that's dumb. Do it like this. So there's not as much like flapping around. That's much better. See that? Now there's not anything, it's not flapping around too much. Then we wanna tape where the fold is, the, the center strut, just tape here, just like that. Okay, so when we look at it, it's like that. And then do the same thing as we did on the other side, get it to the edge. And get it to the edge. Look at that, right where it's supposed to be. And so, this is a regular platform, you know, but, you know, <laughs> like, you can't guarantee that it's going to open that way, right? So what did we do last time? We actually, we, we made um, a connector from here to here. And let's see, we'll do it this way. Should we do a different color? I think we should. I think so. So you can see. We need to make a connector. Ooh, look at green, nice, pretty. It's Friday, so it just reminds me of frozen margarita at the end of the day. I think that's gonna be happening, yeah. Uh, but not for you students, especially if you're underage. No, no, none of that for you. Um, okay, so we need to make a connector that goes across, that, that will reach from here to here. And so I've made some little marks just like that. I'm going to fold it along this line here. Make a mark here. Cut. And then cut. And again, this is just to show you what a regular platform works like. 
right? Now we're gonna attach it here and here, but it's too tall. So let me just knock off a little bit of that. All right, and then I'm gonna put some tape on this side. And I'm gonna tape it down right. I'm gonna do it this way. This is the sticky side of it. There we go. See how that goes on the platform? And I'm gonna tape it to this side. And that's this, the reason why I'm doing this. This is going to stabilize our platform so that it doesn't wibble wobble, wibble wobble. How about that, wibble wobble? So it doesn't wibble wobble. Nice word there, good vocabulary. It's early in the morning, okay, give me a break. So now our platform is steady. No more wibble wobbling. Um, so now you, there's your platform and you can see, let's look at it this way. When our base page is completely at 180 degrees open, so is the uh, upper platform. But you're gonna notice a little bit, like sometimes this stuff, it, the, like I said, the further you get away from the base page, the less power there is up here. So if we put something up here, it may not open as well as it would down here. So now, this is a regular platform, so let's, let's overextend it. Let's make the overextended platform. And here's how I'm gonna do it. Let's take a part that I just made. That always makes my interns and or uh, students cry when they see me, like, no, oh, I just made something and it looks good. Oh, well, let's just, let's mess it up. Let's rip it apart, let's cut it up. Now, the first thing that we need to do when we're making an overextended uh, platform, well, there's one of two things. This is the way I might start it. We know that the top part of the platform is the same as, the, as this area right here. Let me show you. This distance from here to here, and this distance from here to here. You can't see those lines. Let's see. Let me use a black pen. You can see that. So the distance from here to here, I'm going to call that A. We're going to call this A, too, because it's the same distance. There, there to there. Okay, see those distances? See that? See that? Those are the same as the distance right now with a regular platform here and there. Look at that, they're the same, you know, because they mirror it. We're gonna change that. We're just going to carefully cut it like this and make the top platform sh smaller. So it's not gonna be A anymore. Now this is gonna be B and B, all right? So if you look at it just straight on, let's see if you can see it. It's hard to see with the camera. So let's just rip this off. Look at, look at that. Let's see, 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 see the B. This is this part of the platform is narrower than the bottom, and so some measurements are going to change on the rest of our pop-up. And here's how we're going to make it work. So we're going to tape our top of the platform back on. And you know, let's, let's put a little extra piece of tape right here just to stabilize that center strut. This is our center strut. And we're going to tape, uh, we're gonna fold the top of our platform shut. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it upside down because I don't wanna see the A and the B. I think that's ugly. We're gonna turn it upside down. And let me make sure that you can see the center fold on that. Okay, there's the center fold on our, our, the top of our, plat, our, our extended platform, overextended platform. I'm gonna tape it just like that. So you can see that it's just hinged on the top. And sometimes I like to put an extra piece of tape on the opposite side just to keep it in place. And I'm gonna close, now that it's up there, we're gonna have to attach it to these sides. So let's close it shut and we're gonna see, what, wait a minute, what? What's going on here? This was supposed to go all the way up here to touch, but it doesn't do that anymore. Now, now it reaches lower. And let's see if you can see that. Let's see. See how it, it used to, this edge here of our platform, this edge, used to reach and touch here. Let me make a mark on it. Ah, look, this is why I have markers, so you can see stuff. All right, look, this is this edge. I'm gonna use my marker. Ooh, it's pretty. So pretty. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. See, I'm trying to be careful. 
All right, let's do this. Don't let it dry. When I'm with my niece and nephew, like, they constantly, when they're using markers, they, like, always leave the tops off. And then they're wondering, like, why is it not, why, why are these all dry? Well, why do you think? <laughs> and then you got to go buy new ones. All right, so before, see, see the edge of our platform here? It used to, this pink edge, let me use something that's a little bit better to see. So it used to, this pink edge used to go all the way up to this um, blue edge. But, um, but now that we've cut um, our platform down a little, now it doesn't go to the edge. So what's great is you can just mark where it, it, it does, where that pink edge does go. So they're just right there. You're also going to want to make sure that when you cut it, like, you know, sometimes it might be slightly, this looks like it's slightly not, this edge needs to be parallel to the edge, you know, to, to the base page and everything. So make sure that it's, you know, it's not slightly skewed or um, off base. I'm going to take this, this, this strengthener piece, I'm just going to take it off. Because it's getting in the way. You can't see what's going on. So get out of here. All right, so now we're going to make sure I'm going to make sure this pink edge, let me do that right, did that work out right? Looks like it. All right. so, there we go. All right, and then I'm going to use my trusty X-Acto knife. You can also use scissors, but I'm just going to use it because we're just right, I'm holding it down. There. All right. So now this pink edge will be able to meet where um, this, this side of the, the platform is. And you're gonna need to do the same for, the, for this opposite side here, cut it down. So let's just close our pop-up shut, and we can see we just need to cut this off. So I'm just gonna cut that off. All right, cool. And just like before, we're gonna tape this edge to there, to our side, left and right um, sides of the platform. And we're going to see how an o or our overextended platform, overextended, remember that word? So these sides, the left and right sides of the platform are shorter than the center strut. So you can see how that moves. So then you can see when you open, when I open this page, even if it's even open like this much, right? This here opens a little bit further. So stuff is happening up top too. Now it's still really wobbly. Look at that, wobbly. Now how do we stop it from being wobbly? Well, there's a few ways to do that. We could put um, dual V-folds on either side of this inner strut. We could also use like what we used before. We, remember we had those, um, that connector that was going across we could, uh, across and, and attaching here and here, we could do that as well, but, let, but we might have to modify it a bit. So I'm just gonna tape it back into place. And I'm gonna, it needs to be a little shorter up top, so let's just, let's just use what we've made already. See, I always, I think it's important to reuse parts if you can, tape stuff back on. Don't be afraid to do that, and don't be afraid to, you know, cut apart your project. It's, you can put it back together. You figured it out once, you can figure it out again. So don't be nervous about it. How many times I've broken something um, and then had to re-figure it out and rebuild it? I mean, you can't even, you, sometimes the second time you figure it out is even better than the first time you did. So you really understand it more. So don't be afraid to take things apart and try to figure it out. Now, we have, here is the, the connector that goes across but it's kind of wonky looking. Like before, it was nice and flat. Like, but now it can't be because our platform is no longer a rectangle. Now it's a, what is that, trapezoid? It's more of a trapezoid. I don't know. But look, at that's, that's what it looks like now. It's not a straight uh, sort of uh, rectangle shape. So, hmm, what can I do? Well, what I'll do usually, and this is something that you're just going to have to do, like, you're just going to have to feel it out. A lot of what I do, I don't know, I, I'm just experimenting. And I, I may make mistakes, and then I have to go back and fix it and try to figure out another way. So this is part of the, the just try it out and see what works um, part, portion of the, of the lesson. I don't know 
what's going to work right. Well, I do know that if I kind of pinch it like this, I can see what it looks like when it's completely, let's see, when it's open, if I pinch it sort of there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a new fold here. Or I'll, I'll cut it like this. Now, I might have messed this all up. I See, I cut it right along that, instead of having that other fold, I'm going to tape it here. This is the part where you got to feel it out, and you just got to experiment. Don't be afraid to, a uh, trial and error is the way that you figure things out. Okay, so that sort of works, and that's, that looks better, but, but there is a problem with the bottom. Look, it's not allowing me, when I open it, see, look, it, it won't go completely flat on the bottom. See that? It's irritating. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to peek inside my, my card, and I'm going to go and snip that out mess it's a mess all right there that's better that's better and look at that open our base page look now you can see how overextended that platform is on the top look at that it almost makes it almost makes like a house shape and i suppose you could make a pop-up like if you really had an overextended thing you could you could make a, a house pop but we want to make something happen up top on the top of this platform. So let's see. Hmm. Maybe I'll take, let's see. Hi, green. Let's make, let's just make a V fold happen on top of the platform. And let's make one that is really wide because we know that wide V folds take longer to, to open all the way. But if they're on something that's overextended, maybe... It, they'll move all the way faster on an overextended um, platform here. So maybe we'll make a V-fold. Let's see. Ooh, that's not wide enough. Maybe this is going to be like the widest V-fold. Look at that. That's a super wide V-fold. What if we had one that goes like this and we put it on there? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And I'm just going to make... We're going to tape it down, let's see, something like, hmm, maybe we'll tape it down, like right, right like there. Yeah, so let's make a, let's do this. There's the center fold. We're going to tape it right there. I'm going to use some masking tape, tape this here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're going to make with this. Hmm, let's see. Maybe we'll make something similar to that Omega Supreme um, pop. Okay, so we've got that taped down. All right, now we've got to tape down this side. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to fold it flat, and I'm going to use my masking tape. And I'm going to tape it under here, and I'm going to have it sticky side up. Close this shut. And now... Now you can see, look at how that moves. So here we are with our overextended platform and that feet fold is, you can notice, it, it, it moves a lot faster because the, the platform is actually o opening and becoming overextended. So it moves a lot faster when we open it and then we know for sure when it opens flat that that V fold goes all the way back. So that's really cool. So now comes the part is like, what can I turn this into? Um, now you'll notice that I've gone a little beyond my base page here. Um, and that's fine, that's fine. But what's great about this overextended um, platform is now, now I can have some, a lot of stuff happening up here. So, hmm, let me see, what can I turn this into? Hmm, why don't I speed up really fast and turn it into something really cool? And now.
Okay, all right. So here is what I've taken and, and used my overextended platform. I've, um, I've actually enlarged the size of my card because my pop-up was sticking out. And um, then we can see, oh, I made, ooh, a very nice lady in a big hoop dress. So this is just, well, I didn't get to draw on or anything like that. But um, So you can start to see how I've used that, um, that overextended platform to make a body up top. See, and it's just got like, you know, layers going across and this V fold and stuff like that. And I just added pieces here to kind of make the front of the dress. And you could change the angles of things. You could do all kinds of stuff to make it look a little bit more close to model. But this is, this is pretty good with the, the giant head, you know, whatever. Um, and that is how you use an overextended platform in a pop. Pretty cool, huh? You could, you could make all kinds of stuff with this, but this is just the first thing I thought of because, well, I'm not feeling real creative today. You can see because I didn't draw anything on here, but this is good enough. It gives you shapes, right? It gives you shapes. And the other thing that I wanted to show you is, you know, this is the original side of my car, size of my card right here. See that? And I just added two pieces of paper to the outside. Now, when you do that, when you, you enlarge the size of the pop-up card that you're doing, make sure that you use two separate pieces that are exactly the same size and you make sure that they're not connected on the outside so that your fold here, see that fold, has a little room to breathe. So I taped it right here with some masking tape. Let's just show you. You wanna make sure that it, they, they aren't connected initially. You can tape it on the inside though so that the pieces don't, you know, the flaps aren't running free like down here like that. So there we go. There is the overextended platform. And this is just one way that we could create something. So I challenge you, my students, to make some really cool um, pop-ups using this mechanism, using this overextended platform. See what you can do, all right? All right, class, that's all there is to learn today. Um, stay tuned for more pop-up master classes coming very soon. And if you had fun today in class, be sure to hit like and subscribe. There's the buttons are somewhere around there. I think, I think they're around. Anyways, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. See you next time. Bye-bye.